guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a little helper with me because you know when you're homeschooling and you're trying to do some filming work there's always someone who wants to get in on the action. So Jamie today, well Jamie and I today thought we would show you some of our current favourite things that we are loving during lockdown. So we wanted to start off, well should we start off with your favourite thing? We just actually got yeah. these the other day. Um, we obviously live down in Brighton now and we have been going down to the beach so much because the weather has just been amazing. But down in Brighton we have got a stony beach and we'd always be walking along the, um, the kind of stones and like out, out, out like that. So we went on to Amazon and we ordered some sea shoes for the boys. These were $19.99. They're really, really good quality ones. Um, they slip on and off really easily and they have really good grip underneath as well. And the boys wanted to choose these ones because, like I said, they look like Black Panther. We ordered them in a size up so Jamie is normally a two but we got him a three so that he could kind of have a bit of room for growth as well and I feel like they're a really really good fit I definitely think you should go up a size because um, I think the two might be tight already for him you really love them don't you you wore them for the first time on the beach yesterday and they were sprinting all over the stones and not a single whinge about their feet hurting so well worth the investment I say should we show them this one next mm -hmm. Right, so our next current favourite is this picnic backpack. We also got this just the other day and we are loving it so much. Every time we go down to the beach, we pack up a couple of snacks, even if we're not going for like a meal time. We'll still pack a couple of snacks and waters and things like that and take this down with us. This was from Von, is it? Von Chef. Von Chef. You can get this on their website or on Amazon as well. Um, it was about £50, maybe £49.99. It comes with a picnic blanket, which I think is actually not a bad price because, like I said, it comes with a picnic blanket and we were looking to get an individual picnic blanket and they were about £15 by themselves. So this, like I said, comes with a picnic blanket. It just rolls up and then... And like um, a bag. Yeah, and then it goes into here, doesn't it? It gets attached by these little um, belts. And then, and then what it also comes with... What's what goes in here? Wine. Wine or just water if you want to keep water cool. So it's like a little cooler bag in here. Um, it's got the kind of like, you know, when it, you put something cold water. in there, it'll keep it cold on that side. And then what I love about this backpack is that on this side, this is actually for the wine bottles because I don't know it if you guys can see. It doesn't need to be for the wine bottle. It doesn't need to be for the wine bottle, but it does have an opening at the top for the neck of the wine bottle. So you unzip it there, pop the wine bottle in, zip it back up, and then the neck can stick out of here really easily. Um, and then once you open your backpack up, it has two compartments. Let's Where show. Is it? Yep, the front compartment. <laughs> You open it up and it's got a whole picnic set here. A um, chopping board. Yep. Whatever these, these are. Salt, those are salt and pepper shakers. Pretty salt, cool. Salt and pepper shakers. It comes a four, with Wine. four of everything. So we've got four plates. You've even got a bottle opener here. For wine. For wine or beer or cold drinks. Doesn't have to be wine, okay. Jay. Um, you've also, it also comes with napkins, four napkins in there, and everything's and like four plates. Yep, four plates. Everything's got its own little place, which is just perfect. It comes with four wine glasses, four, four. forks, four knives, and four spoons, but two of them are actually already in the dishwasher. Um, so, like I said, it's really, really good. Everything is plastic, so nothing is going to break. And then it comes with a bigger section here that is fully lined to keep your food. Um, either hot or cold, whatever you decide. But obviously going for a picnic, you'd think it'd be in nice warm weather and you'd want something cool in here. You can actually fit loads and loads in here. And then on the kind of like overlay flap, you've got another little compartment. I'm not sure what you'd put in here, but something. Sweets. sweets. Could put sweets in there, couldn't you? Um, money, you could put money in there or your phone. That could work. Phone and money in there. Yep, yeah. so that's what we are loving at the moment. We literally take this everywhere. I've actually just washed this picnic blanket as well. I washed it on 30 degree wash, like a like a gentle wash, and it's come up really, really nicely. Right, so my next favorite, I would have to say, is this foot file. So I have always... It really tickles. It does tickle, doesn't it? I've done it on my foot and it, and it was like... But it's good, isn't it? 
So I've always suffered with like really dry and cracked heels. This foot file is fully rechargeable. It comes with a little um, charger. charger. So you just plug it in and it looks like you put it just into like an iPhone charging um, head. And then, oh, it's also got, I didn't see that before. It's got a little duster. That's cool. Ooh. It comes with three different heads. This is the coarser head that I've got on here. And then like it goes mainly. down in um, fineness. This is a really fine one, I guess, when you've kind of nearly cured your feet and you just want to kind of maintain them, you'd have this finer one on. But it's really, really good. And it has two speeds. First, second. And it just goes round and round and round. And you literally just place it on your foot. You just move it forwards and backwards and it files off any dead skin. It's absolutely brilliant. And then what I do is I follow it up with some foot cream as well to make my feet as soft as possible. This foot file was $19.99. It was from Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box. They had loads of different options to choose from, but I really like this one. It doesn't catch the um, skin that you get filed off. So what I do when I use it is I just put my feet into the bath and then do it there and then I just run the water um, down and wash everything away yeah really love it and it's really easy to hold as well because it's got the kind of like long handle it's almost like a shaver to hold it so it's really comfortable really easy to use as well next one is going to be my swimming costume so I actually got this last year from Cupshe um, I'm going to try and link this one but I don't think they're going to still have it in stock so I'm going to try and find one similar but I love it and I get so many compliments about it it's a high-waisted um, bikini because I got stretch marks when I had the kids so I like to hide up to my belly button so this is a really comfortable bikini and then the top let's show them the top is a kind of like ditzy print kind of um, pink and blue floral top and it's again it goes quite low as well on under the kind of boobs so you hide you hide quite a bit of your midriff with it and then it comes up quite high as well and i just think it's a really pretty um bikini it's got a drawstring back to it as well so it adds a little bit of detail and it was quite inexpensive as well but like i said i will try and link it down below but if not i'll find one very similar to this i can link for you instead so this is an onion dicer. I've showed you my handheld onion dicer before, um, but I actually think this is better. My handheld onion dicer was made by Tupperware, and I think it was about 38 pounds. This one is from Nex, and it was 14 pounds. Now, I've tried to find this on the Nex website again, but for some reason, it's just not on there anymore. So I found one very, very similar from Amazon, and um, it's an electric dicer. So I put everything in here. I put onions, garlic, today I just did some um, sun-dried tomatoes, we do our gardeners, like our sun like some blitzed up tomatoes to put on toast in here. If I'm making a curry paste, I will put everything, like my ginger and everything in here, blitz it up and it just comes out so, so nicely. It, um, if you want to dice an onion, you just pop the lid on, press, like press and kind of pulse it for a couple of times and your onion is diced to perfection. Um, so these are like, highly i would highly recommend investing in this if you're getting into your cooking and if you just don't want to keep dicing up like things cook along with carrots. yep so i would definitely definitely recommend this it's really not expensive but it is going to change the way you cook for sure so the final thing that we want to show you guys we have to take you over there but it is my new drinks trolley so i got this drinks trolley it's not a trolley because it isn't on wheels I got this trolley from Very, and when it arrived, it came with three long legs and one short leg, so it's a wonky trolley. But at the moment, we just haven't got any legs on it. I think what I might do is put all three back on and then just cut a piece of wood to go under the shortest leg because I wanted them to just send me some replacement legs, but they didn't have um, any more of the trolleys in stock, so they couldn't do that. And because they weren't sure when they were going to get it back in stock, I didn't want to send it back and then have to. Um, I like the drinks yeah, trolley. Wait for ages. So we're going to take you over to the drinks trolley now and show you what it's like. We absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. It's just. Hello 
beautiful so it's got a mirrored base here and then it's also got another mirrored layer here you've got some runners here to hang your glasses on and then you've got ample space to kind of display all of your drinks i've also got some flowers on here as well because i think that just looks really pretty um and i've also got a little cocktail shaker here i think this is really cool for if people come over to our house and we are um entertaining i think it's cool if we go outside and we can just lift this up and bring it outside with us and then kind of serve everyone drinks from there so yeah that is the cocktail stand i just remembered there was one more thing i wanted to show you and it was this dress like i feel like every summer i have a dress that i just love <laughs> and i found this one on asos it's an it's actually a warehouse dress um, I think it was half price as well. It's meant to be £25, but I think I got it for £12.50. Um, let me just stand up and show them. I absolutely love it. It's like a really good length. I feel like it shows um, if you've got a really nice tan. It cinches in at the waist here as well. And then it's got a little bit of frill detail here. You can't wear a normal bra with it because obviously it's got really strappy straps here, but I've just got a strapless bra. But I think it'd be really good if you had a bikini on underneath or something like that. Um, yeah, I really like it and like I said, I feel like it kind of is a good color to wear in the summer because it really shows off your tan and then it's got like little tie up details here so you can make it longer or shorter depending on how you like it. So yeah, that is my current seven favorite things. I was kind of walking around my house thinking what am I loving at the moment and these are the things that I um, have recently purchased or recently found and just absolutely love. Uh, I haven't done one of these videos for a long time, so like my onion dice, I've had that for quite a while, but I still wanted to share it with you today because I haven't done one of these for ages. Jamie's gone off now. <laughs> now that I've finished filming, he's gone off and doesn't want to be in this anymore. He's helping Chris clean the car out the front. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.